Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and may peace and blessings be multiplied to the brothers around the four corners, preaching this truth in all sincerity and diligence. Just want to speak on, you know, various topics. This morning, um, well, this afternoon, I woke up this morning and um, I live with Gentiles, so uh, I woke up this morning hearing some conversation about uh, some prominent drug dealers in my neighborhood was arrested or whatever, and um, that's a good thing, you know. I really wanted to get my 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 viewpoint real bad, you know, real strongly about how it was good that they was locked up, like like you know, fuck them, you know. But you know the scripture says, uh, "Behold, I send you amongst wolves; therefore, be uh, harmless as doves and uh, uh, selective, wise as serpents and uh, harmless as doves." In fact, let me get that scripture. No reason to butcher it when you can get it. Okay. Uh, What seconds? This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpent and harmless as doves. So, you know, stand with, you know, stand with gent uh, Gentiles. Stand with Hellenists, to be more exact. You know, they Israelites, but, you know, they're not really uh, caring about the truth and, you know, but uh, staying with Gentiles, you know, you got to be like that scripture. You know, you got to be harmless as doves. You know, you got to be you got to be southern. You know, so I held my peace. But uh, yeah, you know, the scripture says, uh, "Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live." And um, basically, all of these these drug dealers, man, they witches. Let's get that. This is a. Uh, Exodus 22 Exodus 22 and um No, not Exodus 22 Where is that scripture? So like you once again you see if I can find the scripture This is um I had this scripture and I was looking up uh I was looking it up in the in the blue letter to you know go further in the word but it didn't it didn't give me a lot so Lord willing after doing some more uh history I mean some more research on uh sorcery and witchcraft I can uh do a, a lesson on that as well. But uh Oh, I was Exodus 22. Uh, it's Exodus 22 and 18. It says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Now, um, I end up, I did look up the word, you know, it was a whole lot to go into, but, you know, uh, the Lord said, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So, if you're not going to suffer to live, what that means, you're going to put them to death. So, they're supposed to die. All them drug dealers, man, they're supposed to be uh, dead anyway. Killed, destroyed, uh, brutally. You know, I mean, it's wrong. It's against the law. So, and then they just like they father the devil. You know what I'm saying? Like the scriptures, John eight forty four, Yahweh shall say, "You are the, your father the devil, and uh, after your in your lust ye shall do." So these drugs that sell drugs to their own people, just so they can live uh, at a higher uh, at a higher level, live lavishly at the expense of their own people. So you, we already, Jake already sick, like when you read, uh, um, this is Isaiah, go to Isaiah 1 and 18, this is Isaiah, not 1 18, but just Isaiah 1, it says, uh, this is Isaiah 1 and 4, it says, ah, sinful nation, 
a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are going away backward. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint, like our whole nation is just sick. You know, we already uh we not following the statutes, laws, and commandments. You know, uh we don't know who we are, you know, we, we, we not a people. And then you 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 like you like Esau, you further the affliction, you know, at the at the expense of you living better and you eating better or, or dressing better, uh owning a couple hot but you still under the curses because Esau brings the drugs in and allows one of one of you you know one of you patsies to f to further help destroy the nation and then when they get tired of you or you know they they uh they feel like you done you done lived good enough then they send you to jail forever you know so you you drug dealers man y'all y'all living somewhat sort of kinda like Esau at the expense of your own people you help to destroy your own people you know, so that's what the scriptures say. Y'all, you should not suffer a witch to live, and like uh, the brother Hashem, y'all say the witch's brew. Just like when you um, when you when uh, when you uh, go into that uh, the word witchcraft, you know, one of the words that pop up is pharmacology. You know, pharmacy, pharmacies. That's why, and this example brought out a lot of times on the line when when this subject comes up. Walgreens got the little the cauldron. You know, like y'all seen the cartoons, the witch got the cauldron and she got the little big old stirring spoon. And that's the that's the that's the symbol of um of Walgreens, a pharmacy. Going back to witchcraft and sorcery. And and what do you Jake's uh rap about? Drug dealing. Still in the kitchen with the pies, water whipping. That's all back that's that goes all back to sorcery and witchcraft. And then just to get on you you Jake Jake like the scripture said, a uh, uh, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. And then uh, when you jump back to the uh, to the fifth verse, it says you will revolt more and more. It's like the things that was going on back in back in the fifties and forties and thirties. It's done. It's it's worse now. Like I remember growing up, it's certain things I hear. You know, you hear older people, older Jakes talking about. Oh. Uh, it was certain things you didn't, for the most part, for the most part, it was certain things you didn't have to worry about so-called black people doing. Oh, yeah, you know, black people don't do that. Like, I remember when we was growing up, it was, you know, black people, you know, black people did crack, you know, heroin and, you know, uh, smoke weed, you know, under the curses, you know, doing that. You know, and then, and then so-called black people, so like, yeah, and then, you know, from the from the pressures of, uh, of this Esau, you know, and facing the punishment of the Lord, East, uh, 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 these Israelites, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and so-called Native Americans, they reach out and try to escape the, the everyday pressures of life turning into drugs, you know what I'm saying? They reach out not knowing that they got to, if they turn back to their power, if they turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad, that's the only thing that comforts you. You know, some people turn to food, get fat as hell, get diabetes. Some people turn to liquor, you know what I'm saying, uh, excessively drinking. You know, then some people turn to drugs, which Esau, Esau pushed. And they the biggest, uh, they the biggest druggie. They the biggest drug user. But back to the point, man, uh, I remember growing up, it was something we, some we called white boy drugs. You know, oh, that, that, that's a white boy drug. You ain't got to worry about it. But now, like, the, the uh, just bringing the, the scripture to the point of the drug thing, Jake, we voting more and more. You doing everything. P, I remember growing up, you ain't have to worry about, you ain't hear about Jake popping pills to get high. But they, it's pushed in all this music. Everything is pushed in this wicked ass music. Popping pills, adultery, you know what I'm saying, drugs. It's just everything, man. The scripture says, uh, back to Isaiah. It says, from the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no, there is no soundness in it. And uh, I believe that word soundness basically means to be healthy and to be whole. 
our whole nation is just from from the sole of the foot like every aspect every aspect of life we just at the bottom of the rung you know we we the we the very we the lowest rung just getting stepped on by everybody and these are at the very top all right it says uh but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores they have not been closed neither bound or neither bound up neither mollified with with ointment so we still ain't healed yet man even people will uh, even people that so-called think that they uh got some type of uh knowledge or not necessarily knowledge but people think they know the right path if you ain't if you're an israelite and you ain't following uh yahweh by shim shot then you just ain't got it you know just like i was i was watching this uh I was watching this video, and basically, like, it made me think of this scripture, uh, the Lord will, uh, he will remove the, the covering cast over all the people. Like, it's a lot of people waking up to, to that, this, that the, the white man is the problem with the world. It's a lot of people from different factions of beliefs, though. See, that's the problem. It's a lot of Israelites, you know, they might be, uh, pan-African, or they might, or they might just be just, like, revolutionary, or whatever they might be. But they, but they understand that the problem is this, is this devil, the devil, which is the so-called white man, which is Esau, Edom, according to the Bible. Every, every, like every aspect of 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 uh, the negativity in, in the Israelite life is this devil playing playing the, the the most major's role in it, you know, with with uh supporting roles from these other nations, man. But it says uh. It says, your country is desolate, your cities are burned with fire, your land, strangers devour it in your presence. And them, them fake, uh, them so-called Jews, those Khazarians, they really Edomites, they devouring our land, man. They devouring our, 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 our birth, you know, our, the land that the Lord gave us, man. It says, uh, strangers devour it in your presence and it is desolate, overthrown by strangers, you know. And it says, uh, and the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in the garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except Yahweh of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. See, that's why the, the scriptures say, uh, uh, I am, I am Yahweh by Shem Yahweh I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob not consumed. See, because if the Lord, if the Lord, then love us or if the lord changed and said you know what well uh, i'm gonna deal with these we'd have been destroyed you know that's why it says uh except the lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant you know and the lord always did like uh, i heard the apostle say the lord always deal with numbers you know a remnant is is a is like a small chosen amount but good thing the lord didn't change man because these the the uh the devil along with his supporting uh agents to other nations they done came up with so many ways to destroy us as a people. It's only it's only through the will of the Lord that Israel's still alive. But but we still alive because he said he said uh you shall be uh we shall be as the sand of the sea. So it's only because of the Lord and, and the Lord is not a uh is not a uh is not a power that he can lie. So because of the because of the Lord is all righteous, that's the only reason why we're still alive. You got us you got these people poisoning our water, poisoning our food. You know what I'm saying? Uh, giving us drugs, and and that ain't even working fast enough. Now they just outright killing us. They've been they've been experimenting and, and testing us, testing on us to 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 kill us. You know, so it's like man, you can the only hope, the only hope that we got is that we we of that chosen number that we part of the elect, and that these other people can die, man, because the scripture says uh, the scripture says uh. Uh, what it says, it says the, the discourse of fools is irksome. Why? Because they talk because they, they only talk about breaking the law of the Lord. Even even two thirds of Israel. Their conversation is irritating, man. All they all, all they want to do is commit adultery, uh turn up, uh do drugs. That's all that that's all the so called average black man wanna do. And the so called average Mexican. And the so called average uh Native American. Is fucking just do drugs, do drugs, motherfucking, uh, turn, turn up, pop pills, 
and sleep with other men's wives, man.